More on this now with Henrik Ordal, who is the director of the Peace Research Institute, Oslo. Henrik, welcome to the program and congratulations to you because you knew it was going to happen before it happened. In other words, you predicted it. You picked uh, Nargis, didn't you? She was on top of my list. I certainly didn't know that uh, that she was going to win, but we pointed to human rights activists and, and women's rights activists and specifically to uh, Nargis Mohammadi, who's uh, been working so hard and, and putting her life and, and health uh, at line uh, for women in uh, Iran. Uh, she's worked extensively for other uh, human rights issues, as we heard. So this is really a, a, day, a day of joy, I think, for uh, not only for women and, and the inhabitants in, in Iran, but for everyone in the world who cares about women's and human rights. That's certainly what her husband said uh, in reaction to the award. And also, the New York Times has received a statement from Nargis Mohammadi, and she says, global support and recognition of my human rights advocacy makes me more resolved, more responsible, more passionate, and more hopeful. But probably, do you think maybe more targeted by the Iranian government? Does winning the Nobel Prize make any recipient more secure? Because quite often, they're working in environments which are not conducive to their efforts. Well, absolutely. Many of the prize winners are working in very, very difficult uh, environments. And, and so what we've known from, from other winners in the past is that often the Peace Prize means that uh, that there is, of course, increased attention, but also a layer of protection. I hope that this prize will also you know, give her a platform, a renewed platform, a strengthened platform, and one that is also providing some protection. The chairwoman of the Norwegian committee, when uh, explaining why the committee had chosen Nargis, mentioned Masa Amini a lot. The young lady who died while in police custody in Tehran just over a year ago. For Nargis to receive this award and to be doing what she's doing for years, are there universal qualities that Nobel Peace Prize winners have? For me, courage and resilience, determination, those kind of things, surely they have to have those. What else? Well, these are individuals that are uh, making, as I said, uh, an, an immense sacrifice when it comes to their own uh, situation. And, and Nargis has been imprisoned now for uh, some time and has been imprisoned several times in the past. And uh, she's making this sacrifice. Uh, and it, so it co comes at a huge cost. But it also, you know, she's fighting for the right of uh, women all over Iran, uh, for their fundamental rights to make decisions about their own future. She's right working for democratic reform, for respect uh, for uh, other basic human rights, including the abolition of the death penalty. Uh, so uh, she must be made out of some uh, some really strong matter. And I uh, am just uh, incredibly impressed with, with uh, what she has achieved and uh, the role that she's played in Iran. Henrik, can't thank you enough for your participation. I was reading a lot about what you were saying before the prize was awarded, and you're clearly the person to speak to. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much.